Welcome back to Burgish Land in FS19. We're up at the horse yard, which is not one I show very often, just getting them fed. Um, they are bringing us in a rather healthy 5,000 euros a day ish in profit. Uh, we are paying someone to clean them and ride them for us. I'm not so sure if that's bugged still though. And um, because their fitness isn't as high as I would expect, having been on here a little while. But hey, we'll, uh, we'll go with it. So I just need to get them some hay and I think some straw. And they are good. The cow herd is already sorted. We do need to give the sheep some hay as well. Before we then move into doing some forestry today, um, God, it feels like I'm doing a lot of that lately. Yeah. Mainly with the uh, survival challenge on FS22, where forestry is an everyday thing. Um, but we are out of wood chips, and the uh, the sawmill is empty. So we definitely need to. Why is that? That's not taking that, is it? We might need to uh, nudge that in a bit further. The trigger for this is a bit fussy. It's really weird. So on FS22, I used to Joel. Playing FS19, I find it really weird using the shop. How are they doing? Yeah, that'll be good enough. And they're okay for straw as well. So we'll just park this up over here. And uh, jump back in the pickup truck and head back to the yard. So we're now well into winter time. It's uh, minus one and probably not going to get above freezing today, I don't think, which is why we're going to do a day of doing some forestry. Have got most of the silage into the BGA now, so we made another chunk of money off of that last night, which was really nice. Didn't really do it for the money, did it more for the digestate, which uh, we're going to get to spreading sooner as well. We can spread digestate and slurry through the winter, which we will be doing to uh, boost up some of our fields. I don't think we can spread compost, which is the other thing that is nearly ready. And so we'll have to wait for the ground to thaw in the spring to get around to doing that, I suspect. I was going to hire a tree harvester to do the forestry, but I think we're just going to get the chainsaw out and uh, fill up the back of the truck and maybe the forestry trailer that we have that we haven't used yet. And uh, maybe put that on the back of the GCB and run both of those over to the lumber mill. I would like to get it quite full and just see if that gives us enough of a supply of wood chips to keep the cows going. I do keep talking about leasing a wood chipper and doing that, and that's, that's probably the best way. Uh, we're just about keeping the cows in bedding. We do also have the carrots and the spelt to sell this game day, so we will get to that as well. I may actually do that next. Um, I've just got the animals sorted. And then do the forestry as the time lapse. Uh, actually, probably selling the carrots with time lapse as well because we've got to load all those into the trailer. What am I getting? Need to faint. Oh, I left the lights on on the Ford. Uh, and then we need to take a bale of hay over to the sheep. So they are pretty much all in lamb now. So it should be a good spring for us, I think. Uh, new cows from last time are settling in nicely. I'm just letting the milk build up a bit. We're up to 5,000 litres. I don't think it's worth doing a run yet to sell that. Probably sell some over the winter. Just bring some cash in. Yeah, we have a mountain of carrots to sell. The uh, grass that we seeded is finally growing, which is nice as well. Um, we could just leave this bale 
under the eaves of the roof but I'm going to go and put it back over in the bale shed because it doesn't feel particularly realistic just leaving it there have a tiny bit of silage left to put in the digester as well uh, excuse me VCA I've noticed the shuttle in VCA is not as reliable as the shuttle in FS22 it um, sometimes seems to get stuck in a full or reverse which is a little bit annoying There we go. We'll leave that there. We're going to need that for the forestry later. But yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll get the spell sold and then we'll uh, jump in to a time lapse for the forestry. Where did I leave the truck? I think it's in here. There we go. It's probably full of lime as well, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, that's annoying. I wonder if we can tip it in here. We're not really using the workshop particularly. Again, I'm breaking. But the thing's wrapping. Mm. Yep, we can tip it in here. That's cool. Might regret that when it comes to trying to load it into the spreader, but hey. It's out of the weather. So if we back into the silo. And then we'll go get that sold. I don't remember how much spell we had. Oh, we have to do a couple of trips. Tonight. Where are we going? Uh, it's about the Agravis. Where's that? No. Okay, so that's way down south. So all the way down the main road. Okay. Let's find forwards. This thing has an awful turning circle. But there we go. And I will see you down at the cell point. Again, this map doesn't fail to uh, impress me with how it looks as we go into winter time. It's uh, such a nice map. Just coming up to the cell point now. Ah, it's this one. This is where we've been selling our bales. Should just pay attention as we roll over the way bridge, obviously. Let's see how much we're going to make for this. Going up nicely. I'm not sure what we want to do next in terms of buying things, but 26,000 euros basically for that. Very nice. I think we'll stick it into a time lapse now. I'm going to get this other trailer load of spelt sold, and then I think we will be doing a bit of forestry or carrot selling. One or two talk to you in a moment well, actually it took me nearly a week to get this sorted I decided to switch to the Deutz and one of the uh, size trailers that I used just because I thought it would be quicker and actually reloading the game the sell point seems to have changed as well so we are off to the grain mill to sell this last load of spell just need to open it up um, I'm 
hoping that I can hook these two trailers together to sell the carrots. So that would hopefully make things quicker because that's what I'm going to move on to. I'm going to try and get the carrot sold, but I can't seem to hook it up to that one. Um, the other trailer has a hitch on the back, so we'll give that a try as well. And no joy. So we'll uh, we'll start off running this trailer on the back of the Deutz, and then I think we'll try and get a bit of a convoy going with auto drive because there's about 200,000 litres of carriage to sell and our trailers hold about 20,000 litres or less. Um, so yeah, and we've got plenty of tractors and we've got plenty of trailers, so we can uh, we can do that instead. I'm just trying to keep an eye on where we are money-wise because I'm curious as to how much we've made off of this bonus carrot harvest. So you might hear a bang clicking then because I'm writing down where we are. Ben doesn't really want to work. Okay, so let's get this first load sold. Uh, so I'm doing this while I'm waiting however many hours or days or minutes it's going to be for the patch 1.2 version 1.2 patch of FS22 to install, which looks pretty awesome. Uh, some cool new stuff and some bug fixes, uh, which is nice. All right, let's sell this first load of carrots off. Uh, there's, there's a lid there. Yeah. So five and a bit thousand euros for a trailer load is not too bad. I've got the auto drive network set up, I think. Um, I'm just having trouble with the tractor picking up the uh, start of it. Uh, so we'll, we'll take it around and uh, yeah, not there, this way, this way. Okay, so what I've done is I've set a, a loading point in just in front of me here. And I've got a route going down to the cell point we're using. Uh, and the tractor is just going to loop around selling carrots while I load them and uh, once the Deutz is off I'm going to jump in the JCB and hook that up to one of the smaller Reich size trailers and get that going as well. I'm not sure how many we'll need to run uh, as to how long it's going to take to uh, get all these sold. It's unusual that I'm not using a lorry and belts I guess but this felt like a, an interesting thing to do, you know, we've not got much we can do through the winter, the ground's frozen already. Uh, so although we have a lot of field work to do, we can't actually do very much of it at the moment. But auto drive has found its way down to the cell point and uh, I offset the, the path as far as I could to the right so that we would avoid that roof. And hopefully now we will make our way back to the farm. Uh, once I've got this, I'm going to do a little bit of forestry just to uh, get the sawmill going again. I think probably over the winter, I'm going to do a fair bit of off-camera forestry to build up a stockpile of wood chip. Um, we can't do much else looking at the forecast. It looks like the ground is going to stay frozen right through winter. Um, and I'm not a fan, I'm not going to show you me doing four or five videos of forestry. If you watch the channel, you know I'm doing shed loads of forestry in the Survival Challenge series, and I don't want this to turn into another forestry series, so probably what I'll do is uh, work on building up a stockpile of wood chips, and I'll, I'll store the product that we get, and we can do a big sell-off at the end of winter maybe, and see how much cash we can make. I quite like to buy, and I may do it with the money we make off of this a lorry, um, so that we can get a big forestry trailer. Um, we can't get a huge amount on that little truck we've got, and I'm not overly impressed with it. It's a nice looking mod, but it handles like a really old truck, so yeah, it would be nice to get a lorry. Um, and 82 Squared Studios has just dropped the TLX Winter Wolf, which might be a good option because it's winter. Hmm, maybe we could lease one through the winter. Anyway. Um, so I now have three tractors running. I've got the uh, the Vario going as well. And you can see we had a little issue there that part of the route is a one-way system or it is, is a single track system. So uh, they got stuck. They got one and a bit more load to go and then we will be done selling carrots. So far we've made nearly 40,000 euros out of them, which is really nice. You know, so we didn't plant this crop, it was just inherited from the farm. So, uh, I was just having a panic moment that I needed carrots for the animals. Actually, I kept some for the horses, so we're good. Um, so this is the last little bit. 9,000 litres. Uh, just finishing us off here. So we may never do live maths, folks. 47,000 euros from some carrots. I'm really happy with that. We're now going to load up a load of wood onto the old truck. Got the logging bed on the back. 
I did try and hook up the logging trailer that I've got. I've got a little logging trailer at the yard, but it wouldn't attach to the truck, so that was a little bit annoying. Now, I, it won't hold as much as the truck, so it's not worth using it instead of the truck, but I thought if we could run both, we could get even more taken over to the lumber mill, and that would have been good. But using my usual trick of having a measuring stick to uh, limb the trees up, you've seen me do this loads. Um, I'm just going to, I'll show you loading a couple of trees up and then we'll get the truck filled up. Um, yeah, as I said, you'll probably see this series next, approaching spring, I think, uh, unless the weather warms up a lot and we can get to doing some field work. Um, and I'll just chug away at doing some forestry to uh, build up some wood chips. We, we have a slight problem, we're a bit kind of back heavy, so just going to try and nudge the, the logs forward a bit to shift the, uh, the balance forward, because otherwise every time we accelerate, we wheelie. We're slightly better, but not enough better, so good old tough Eastern European engineering. Yeah, I just rammed it into a tree, and problem solved. We are good to go, and we are rolling. I am taking it very slowly, because this is very top heavy. But yeah, we'll get this over to the lumber mill. Turns out there's about 80,000 litres of wood on here, so it should give us a nice amount of all of the products we're going to get. Thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a comment, leave me a like, subscribe if you want. Catch you next time.